Hello YouTube, Salivate Metal here. Gold Eagle Coins have posted a video entitled Stop Stacking, which uh, provided some advice about not getting in over your head, so to speak, when purchasing precious metals. But he also lamented about the flat price of silver. And uh, of course, the, the silver price has gone down dramatically since 2011 highs. But there's also a former period in, in history, recent history, where the price was essentially flat for quite some time. And um, for that, he doesn't think it's really a good, quote, investment or, um, or even a hedge because with the value of the dollar uh, potentially going down in the future, it's not necessarily true that the price of silver will reflect that and maintain its uh, its its of uh, its value um so sir there's some interesting thoughts and there's uh and uh, what i call the push and pull of the silver price that i think come into play with how silver is used as both a commodity and a quote investment of course i use that term loosely i don't see silver as an investment i see it more as a hedge against uh, economic instability that includes inflation and deflation by the way um and some think we are in a sort of a period of deflationary um activity right now but this infographic i think explains it though it's a bit old uh, we can see that in 2004 part of the time where it was sort of a flat price we can see that uh, the uses for silver in uh and throughout the spectrum as both a commodity and an investment so to speak are as follows in 2004 there was uh seven percent silver used in silverware and you can imagine that in in a time uh in the between the 1900s and 1800s this number was probably a lot higher and uh and then here we see as an investment an identifiable investment look at these numbers it has really grown and it is way higher than this now i feel and uh it, and a lot more people are becoming wise to silver and recognizing its value there in the photography you see that 19 percent was used in photography and i believe that high that number was much higher earlier on and then you can see here in 2014, much less um, um, of analog phot photography and developing is being used, and that number is probably even smaller now. In jewelry, it has decreased. In industrial fabrication, it has increased greatly, and I believe that it will increase even more. And then there's the biomedical fields, and I believe – we don't see those numbers here, but I believe it's more there uh, – as well and increased greatly in that aspect so here we see the coin and bar demand in this in this chart here has gone up and and uh, american silver eagles obviously this is old but we know that it broke records in 2014 and in 2015 and uh and we see that also so the austrian austrian philharmonic and the canadian uh maple leaf silver so we are seeing some great changes in uh in silver usage and there's and in my view that's the reason why the price will go down and will also be the reason why the price will go up because as we know especially in recent times the prices of all commodities have gone down and silver and make no mistake silver is definitely seen more as a commodity in the entire marketplace than it is as a uh as an in, as investment metal or precious metal so to speak um is it still money i believe it is just because a precious metal is used through uh, uh has great versatility and is used throughout industry and things like solar power power and here we're seeing a great growth in solar power usages and I believe with the price being still quite low, you will see it being used um, throughout uh, 2016 and 2017 more than likely 
um, as aluminum, which is the other metal and an alloy thereof, is being talked about as a replacement for silver. But that will only occur if silver goes uh, up a lot. I think some, some companies are experimenting with it and the like, but there's a lot more people getting solar these days as the prices become much more affordable, part and parcel to the lower price of silver, and it's being reflected in, in industry. With that being said, the, uh, the, in the, there, is, there is the high industrial demand and biomedical demand for silver, and uh, there is the uses that are here's here we see some medical uses and the like for silver there's much more things that scientists find more uses for it where it will be used and with that you're going to see not only uh, economic factors that are natural that cause the price to go low but also manipulation and i think we're seeing both of those and it's slamming the price of silver down widening that gold to silver ratio and uh, because gold is treasured, it's still expensive enough that it's uh, it's not economically viable to use it in industry, even though it does have some industrial uses as well. But it is more treasured um, throughout the world, especially in the East, China and India, treasure it culturally as well as see it as a, a great, um, you know, uh, use for uh, economic stability and protection so there you have it i think that uh you know essentially with the demand going up for the major bullion coins and people wising up and the demand going up for industrial uses i believe that in time you will see the prices turn around and that it will be a much larger protection in the long run against economic instability the the fact that more people are getting into silver as an investment vehicle or a protection a hedge vehicle we see here the the massive growth in 2014 where the prices were even starting to go down and we're seeing prices decrease through 2015 um and here we are in 2016 and they're starting to climb back up they're creeping up pretty steadily here and i think that if we see it go up even more you're going to see demand skyrocket for um silver even more because so many people are getting in when the price is low you usually don't see that but you're seeing it happen and occur from 2013 through 2016 here as you can see, obviously 2011 was a big year because it was price was high, but even as the prices went down, the demand is going up, which is good news. So imagine what will happen when the prices, uh, when the spot price goes to $20 an ounce. I believe that when that occurs, you will see the price of silver not be based off of spot anymore. It will be based off of demand. So many people will want silver and see its potential again that uh that you will um it will probably the premiums will probably increase on some of these coins and including generic silver i believe that more people will get into generic silver and that those premiums may widen a bit as well so there you have it um those are my thoughts on 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 uh on the push and pull of silver prices i hope you enjoyed this video i'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate comment and subscribe.